bloody Facebook alert. Just discovered a new band, Jeep Bop. They are the worst band I've ever heard. They suck. Why post that? That's what you've got to ask yourself, isn't it? It's to hide the fact that he's a bloody idiot. Let's be honest. There are so many ill-informed ideas and opinions these days. No thought goes into anything. My message to you all is this. I want you to learn to think. Backstabbing arsonists. You with the office party? Andrew Lomax, Simon McBride, sensitors. No win, no fear. You seem tense. Do I? Really? Why not get it off your chest? I'll probably lose my job when they make these redundancies. Years I've been with this company, but I'll be the first out the door because Mr Kendrick hates me. To be fair, you did sleep with his wife at the Christmas party. How did you know that? Oh, I know lots of things, mate. Like how you spent your life feeling worthless. How? What's that? Soup. Toilet soup. It tells you the truth. Everything you need to know. The truth. Everyone's darkest secrets, yours to exploit. It works. Truth can be a devastating weapon. A weapon that costs you nothing. <coughs> what can you tell me? Anything you need to know about Mr Kendrick and his dirty dealings. I'll have him under my thumb, making my bits for once. Because if not, I'll go to the senior partners and destroy him. Watch him break down. <sighs> Anything else you need to know? Yeah. What's in that soup? It has two ingredients. Piss and shit. You knew things about me though. I knew things. Things you already knew. I'd overheard someone talking about an Andrew having sex with his wife and how he was looking forward to sacking them. So I put two and two together. And as for the feeling worthless bit, we all feel that way. But why do this? It's mental. Around the world, people lie about who we are. The internet spreads the idea that we are superior. We need reminding of our true nature. I wanted you to eat the toilet soup to show the world its true face, that of a bunch of shit-eating morons. So people would realise what they were. You're the mirror I wanted them to look into. And now they've seen themselves in you. They will strive to be more than that. They will learn to think again.